Hello everyone, I just got done making a bed for my daughter's EC Dawn Dancer doll who is one of the Brand Boo students attending Monster High and I can't wait to show you what I've done and do a shout out at the end of the video. My brother actually married a woman who is one quarter Cherokee so I have a niece and a nephew who are part Native American and I wanted really to do a good job on this bed to honor their heritage. So I started off with a smooth foam block from Michaels. These are going up in price. I've been paying $4.99 for these now. And I will be using this piece of fabric from Joann Fabrics to cover that smooth foam block because it has really wonderful Native American patterns and the colors are just perfect for EC. I did leave a little margin at the bottom, but that's okay because I found this other beautiful ribbon, also from Joann Fabrics, in the same red, gold, turquoise, white, and black colors and, and Native American design, and so I think that'll look really nice as a trim. I also wanted to put the bed up on a platform, so I chose a wider smooth foam block and flatter that I will be covering with this brown fabric with the same sort of designs. And I will also be trimming the platform with the same Native American ribbon design, Native American design ribbon, and I think it'll look really nice. There. It does look nice. So the plan is to hot glue the bed to the middle of the platform. Then for her headboard, I chose two dowel rods and painted them brown. And I also found this little teeny tiny skinny dowel rod that was much shorter and painted that brown too. The centerpiece of her headboard is really this dream catcher, which the Native Americans believed would keep the nightmares away. It would catch all the good dreams and let the nightmares slip through, all the bad ones. So if you hung it up where you slept, you would only have good dreams. And so what I did was hot glue the poles to the head of the bed, and then I'm going to hot glue this pole, which I have attached the dream catcher to, to the tops of those poles. Now, these totem poles I really debated about using because as I was doing research on this, it turns out that, you know, EC is from Boo Hexaco, which is New Mexico. So she's a Southwestern Indian and they lived in the desert and so they didn't have trees and they didn't actually carve totem poles. It was only those tribes living in the Pacific Northwest that did that. However, I found these off of eBay and I thought they were really cute and I really wanted to use them and I'm not sure that Monster High is ever going to make a Native American doll that's from the Pacific Northwest. So I hope people forgive me for using these totem poles in Easy's bed. Next, I found this awesome Kachina doll from an Etsy shop called Indian Art Design. Now this is authentic for the Southwestern tribes because I believe it was the Hopi who used them, the Hopi art from the Southwest. Um, they gave these Kachina dolls to their children, not as a toy, but to teach them about their ceremonies. I did repaint the base uh, brown because I did want it to match the poles. And I'll be using the Kachina doll kind of as a footboard. For the pillow, I cut out a rectangle of the same sort of Native American fabric and then I hot glued the ribbon trim to the top. I'm gonna fold it like this and hot glue the insides and then I'll turn everything inside out, which I've done here. And I will be stuffing cotton balls into the empty area here and then hot gluing the top part together to make her pillow. To make her blanket, I wanted to create something that looks like buffalo hide and I got this craft fur from Michaels which I've used in a lot of other beds and I cut it into uh, what I hope is the shape of buffalo hide. So here I've hot glued the Kachina doll to the foot of the bed and I've hot glued the totem poles near the head of the bed and I will now finish it. So let's put on EC's pillow. I'm going to actually flip it around and use this, use it that way. 
And here's her quote unquote buffalo hide. Make some adjustments. And voila, the bed is done. Now let's see if EC goes with her bed. I think, see, I think she does. Of course I'm biased, I just made this bed. I would love to know what you guys think. Even though the totem poles are there, which makes it not 100% a Southwestern Native American bed, I still think that it's very fitting for her and I think it looks really nice. And finally, it's time to do a shout out to Bunny Bear Love. Thank you so much for being patient. And for the rest of you, I wanna thank you for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos. You have no idea how much I appreciate you all. Thank you so much.